the economic clauses in the Constitution that we drafted were supposed to be the foundation for rebuilding our country and positioning it on, economic, on an economic uh, platform that would yield benefits for all of us as South Africans. But in the end, it was at Mangaung when we realized that we needed to give more focused attention to the economy. And that is when the second transition uh, then, then commenced. And the focus now has been on economic freedom. The, Maung conf the Mangaung Conference therefore recognized that in the nearly two decades since the advent of democracy, political freedom had largely been achieved. The priority now was to pursue economic freedom. And those who are interested in knowing where the term radical economic transformation really comes from, this term was first used in government, admittedly by the governing party, the ANC, when we were focusing on the medium-term strategic framework, which was spawned by the National Development Plan. And the question we asked ourselves is, what else can we do as a country and as a government to speed up the economic transformation of our country? And this is what we adopted in 2014. The MTSF of 2014 to 2019, which is the current term of the government, introduced the term to signal the intensification and acceleration of the economic transformation process. What we were seeking to do is to say, we now need to up the pace of economic transformation in our country. It is not a break from existing policy. It is the intensification of, our, of current policy, but with a clear focus focusing on certain things and areas that we need to do. And it does not represent a new and more importantly uncertain path. Radical economic transformation therefore indicates a new phase of accelerated implementation of the long-standing economic policies of the ANC, obviously focusing on what is doable on areas that we can focus more attention on. Part of the problem, though, with the current discourse and conversation on a radical economic transformation is that the term has often been misused and in some circles misrepresented. But a number of other people have also misunderstood it. As a democratic nation, we need to ensure that we should not be distracted or even sidetracked by the misuse of the term. What we need to do is to go beyond slogans, is to go to the heart of the matter and look at what needs to be done to redress the imbalances of the past, the dispossession that the majority of South Africans and black people had in this country spawned unemployment, poverty, and inequality, and the exclusion of black people from playing a key role in the economy of their country. That is what we need to address. We must therefore focus on the real substance of radical economic transformation and the steps that we need to take. And may I add, the steps that need to be taken should be steps that all of us as South Africans take. All of us should be active and enthusiastic participants in ensuring that radical economic transformation does indeed happen. 